안녕하십니까 온라인 서절의 김경원입니다. Greetings, I'm Dr. Kim Kyung Won of Online Surgery. I am honored to meet you through Online Surgery. This is the patient of the day. If you look at the panoramic image at initial visit, the patient complained of pain and gingival swelling on the lower left molar area. The patient also complained that there were intermittent bleeding, especially in the lower left posterior area. That was the chief complaint. If you look over here, panoramic image was taken, periapical abscess was confirmed. There was overall bleeding with impatient mouth and full arch scaling and oral care was executed and in number 36 because the patient complained of pain at the day of initial visit, extraction was done. As extraction was done, socket preservation was done using only AOS a, along with OS guide the collagen membrane. One guide was used to place implants in number 36 and 37. We are currently conducting a study comparing a case where you only use AOS and the case where you use AOS collagen. We are following up on what kind of findings we get. In this case, AOS was used for socket preservation. This is at the time of extraction. On the buccal side, you can see gingival swelling. The patient complained of bleeding. You can see that extraction was done. On the extraction socket, AOS was used. This is a bovine bone for bone graft, and socket preservation was done. OS guide collagen membrane was used, and suture was done. This is panoramic x-ray right after surgery. In the area where defect used to be AOS has been grafted. CT was not taken before extraction, but after extraction, you can see AOS was used for bone graft. This is about 3.5 months later. Socket preservation was done 3.5 months before. One guy's surgery was prepared. CT was taken, and you can see that graft material have matured. I talked with one guy team and in number 36, KS3BA 5.0 by 10 millimeter and in number 37, BA surface, KS3 5.0 by 8.5 millimeter were planned. The distance with inferior alveolar nerve seemed quite close in the distal case, so I plan to place two implants like this. This is how. The plan was made to place two implants. This is immediate post-op image. After placement, ISQ value was about 70 in number 36, and in number 37, it was about 78, 78. So very favorable. Healing abutments were connected, and surgery was completed. An immediate post-op image, if you look over here in number 36, in the area where AOS was grafted on the buccal side, it is well-maintained. In number 37, this is CT image after implant placement. After two months uh, since implant placement, ISQ values were measured. In number 36, it was about 75, 75. And for number 37, it was 83 and 78. Digital impression was taken and final prosthesis was delivered. The ER type final prosthesis was delivered. Panoramic x-ray was taken. At initial visit in number 36, there was epical lesion and alveolar bone was destroyed. Extraction was done and in the extraction socket, AOS was used to do socket preservation. Collagen membrane was used as well. Let's look at the surgical clip. One guide template is adapted to check if it fits well. Tissue punch is used. Wide type is used to remove the gingiva. And number 36. Next, number 37. The gingiva is removed using tissue punch. Template is removed 
and I am checking whether there is chichva left in the remaining area. Mess is used to remove it. One guide the template is adapted once again. Flattening drill is used to flatten the alveolar bone. I'm going to place the implants a bit deeper. If you do not use flattening drill, initial drill may not go in fully. Therefore, flattening drill is used to remove the superior structure. In number 37, flattening drill is used full length to remove the alveolar bone slightly. Initial drill is used. In number 36, drilling is done. Next, a 3.5 by 10 millimeter one guide drill is used. Four point to five by ten millimeter one guide drill is used. You can skip right to five point zero, but if the bone is hard, you can use four point to five first. I'm using five point zero by ten millimeter one guide drill full length. B A surface implant. I irrigate it sufficiently before placing the implant in its position. Saline is applied. Implant is placed 80% using engine. Implant driver is used to position the implant. On the implant driver, you may notice the triangular shape. I'm preparing smart abutment right now. And in order to get hex position more easily, this is being used experimentally. Template is adapted and initial drilling is done. 3.5 by 8.5 one guide drill is used to drill. Four point five by eight point five millimeter drill is used. I can skip to five point zero, but in order to check the bone quality, I'm doing four point five first. Next to five point zero by eight point five one guide drill is used. I'm drilling full length. BA surface implant is used. Sufficient irrigation is done before placing the implant. You can see the triangular shape. It can be more easy to get hex position. Implant position depth is adjusted. Smart peg is connected to measure ISQ value. In number 36, it is 7070. In number 37, 7878. Favorable ISQ value was achieved. Healing abutment is connected 5.0. 0 by 6.0 millimeter healing abutments are connected. Healing abutments have been connected. In this case, in number 36, there was periapical lesion. Extraction was done and the extraction socket, AOS, was used to do socket preservation. After four months, implant was placed. It was BA surface implant. After two months, 
Because a favorable ISQ value was achieved, the final prosthesis was delivered. Thank you for watching.